today I'm going to talk to you about sprains and strains. A lot of people don't understand the difference between the two and a lot of time it is used interchangeably. So I first wanted to review with you what the difference between a sprain and a strain was. A sprain is actually an injury that involves the ligaments of a joint and the ligaments of a joint are what attaches the bone to another piece of bone. For instance, in your ankle, you have a lot of ligaments on the outside, on the inside as well as the top of the joint and that gives the joint its stability. When you have a sprain, what happens is, is that it's overstretched and there might be some small little tears in there and that's what a sprain is. A strain is actually involving a tendon. A tendon is a piece of material, soft tissue, that attaches a muscle to the bone. So when you actually strain something, you're either straining that tendon or you may be also straining the muscle involved. Same thing, it's overstretching either of those two things and may cause some micro tears in the soft tissue. Um, locations for common strains are usually the back, the hamstring is a big one, and then a calf muscle. What causes these two different conditions? So the first one for a sprain, when you overextend or tear due to increased stress on the joint. So you're losing that stability that the ligaments have for a sprain. On an ankle, you might trip over an uneven surface like you're walking outside. For knees, that would evolve a lot with sports. Um, pivoting on the leg like soccer is a pretty common one or basketball. And then another one is wrist. So if you do trip and your center of gravity pulls you there and you reach out with outstretched hand, your hand going over like that trying to prevent your fall, you might actually sprain your wrist. Strains are classified as either acute or chronic. So if you have an acute strain, like a pulled muscle or a small tear, that means that that muscle or, or tendon has been outstretched beyond its normal range. Some common activities like slipping on ice, running, jumping, trying to lift something heavy is a pretty common one, poor body mechanics. So you're trying to lift something and you're overusing your back muscles when you should be using your leg muscles like your quads, that can cause a strain in the muscles in the back. Usually they're easy to take care of. You have some discomfort and everything and you would ice it, you would rest a little bit, um, a couple stretches and then you're good to go. However, if you have chronic strains, that's a totally different story. Chronic strains are over time when you have prolonged use and repetitive use of those specific muscles. Gymnastics is one, tennis, golf, where you're constantly doing the same movements over and over again. PT is super helpful with all these conditions. We can educate you about the condition with a thorough evaluation. The physical therapist is able to do special tests check your range of motion and strength, and kind of assess how bad the situation is. Treatment is always based on the stage of the injury. So if it's an acute injury, we would base treatment off of that and help with decreasing inflammation, the swelling, help with pain, ice, and manual techniques. Um, for more chronic conditions, it's more about stability and strength, so we would be able to determine that. Exercise instruction, so giving you the proper exercises to give the different areas stability, making sure there is a lot of balance going on. A lot of time there's imbalance in a situation, especially with back injuries. Back injuries, um, your core, your stomach muscles, and your hip muscles are super weak. So your back muscles are compensating and taking over and they're being overused. So we would wanna work on strengthening um, those opposing muscles of the core to help those back muscles kind of relax a little bit so that they're not overused. And then the other thing is injury prevention to make sure that not only are we helping you through this injury, but making sure that you don't re-injure yourself again and giving you the proper tools that you would need in order to prevent that from happening. And then also with those people who are aiming to get back to sports or some kind of recreational activity, um, whether you're 10 years old all the way up to whether you're 80 years old, we would be able to guide you in the proper ways of getting back to the sport appropriately in a correct amount of time without you know, you figuring out when that would be appropriate and then re-injuring yourself again. If you would like some more information and to see how physical therapy can benefit you, please click the link below.